before i get into this review i'd like you to know that all four sunscreens on your screen as at the day this video is published have the same ingredient listing the only difference is the packaging size the color of the packaging and the whole kids and baby thing just like with the bondi sands this is all marketing in my opinion but cosmetic formulators might beg to differ I got the Banana Boots Advanced Protection Kit Sunscreen as a non-greasy alcohol-free sunscreen for days when my face needs to be handled with caution. It has an SPF 50 4 boot star rating protection. If I had reviewed this sunscreen right after the burrito scandal happened, I would be doubting the SPF and UVA rating due to the fact that it contains just three basic old UV filters. But Crave Beauty also failed its test and that sunscreen has like five high-end filters. So Hmm. The brand defends the high UVA protection rating with their Evo Triplex trademark which manages to photostabilize the sunscreen using a UVA absorber, a stabilizer and an enhancer. The UVA absorber is Evo Benzone and the stabilizer enhancer is Butyloxyl salicylate. This has a slightly runny texture which leaves a zero white cast semi matte finish. You might be able to get away with skipping moisturizer while using this sunscreen and it doesn't peel on reapplication. Praise Jesus. Over the course of using and reapplying this, I did not notice my face tanning at all. The only major issue I have with this sunscreen is that it low-key tingles or should I say stings on application. I've had the same tingling stinging sensation while using the Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen and now I wonder if all Edgewell sunscreen have the same properties. You can calculate the expiry date using the code on the blue cap of the tube. Don't forget to please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.